Open the bag no. up! Open the bag up! <laughs> hey, cutie. Ow! Good morning everybody, Brian Barczyk here and welcome to the vlog. Hope that your day has been amazing. Today we are gonna just kind of cruise around. We've got some snake work, some lizard work, but we also have a really cool shipment of snakes. Someone reached out to me and said, you know what, I have these cool snakes, but I can't keep them anymore because some situations came up in life and they said, would you like them? And they happen to be one really cool animal that the whole crew is excited about getting. So I can't wait to open this up when it shows up. Show you these amazing things, but in the meantime, we are gonna definitely make sure we check in with Lori and Kelsey and Jessica and everyone else see how things are can you do me a favor and comment down below and let me know how the start of your day is and while you're down there smash that like button for me it is gonna be absolutely an incredible day let's get things started okay guys so my box finally showed up and it's really cool when someone literally reaches out to you and says I can't take care of these snakes anymore and I really trust you to take care of them which I think is just amazing that they would put their trust in me and it's awesome for me because it's like Christmas I get to get an animal and there are a few colubrids in here and then there's one python that I'm really excited about I kept these before in the past but right now I don't actually have any of these so the only thing they asked me is to make sure I keep this as a mascot so I am super excited to show you guys. What do you say we open this bad boy up right now? Let's see what is inside this box. Oh, it's so exciting. Let's see what's in here. I just realized something. I actually told the crew earlier that this was coming in and a few of them were pretty excited about it. So what do you say uh, before I open this up, uh, I get them right now. And here they are. So everyone is here and we are gonna see what is in this box right now. Okay, so we have What's going on here? <laughs> we have, we have, let's see here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, that's a big sucker. This thing weighs a lot. I can't imagine. Oh, I wonder if it's mean. Oh, it doesn't look tame at all. What is it? Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> Lori, what do you think? Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm so happy. Man, that thing's cool. I'm so happy. Isn't that thing awesome? Guys, it's an Everglades rat snake. This is a big old girl though. He said that there was one big Everglades rat snake in there. That sucker is big. Oh, pretty. Ooh, and it's stinky. It's musking oh, me. me. Oh, Lori, here, take this no. quick. Take no. this quick. No. Quick. Oh, it's <laughs> I wish you guys had some smell of vision because trust oh, me. Yeah. Woo. It's, a, it's a great <laughs> snake, but the truth is. Wow, that thing. When they oh, musk, cute. they musk. It's like a skunk. I'm gonna be walking around with that all day. That does not leave. Okay, Lori, this is yours to open up. No, you no, said no, 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 no. You Don't said look. the last one was special, and it's spicy. I can already tell. <laughs> it's not spicy. Just open the no. bag up. Open the bag. Ah! <laughs> it's another one. <laughs> it's another Everglades rat snakes, guys. Man. Look at that. They are really cool, though. I like Everglades rat snakes. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Exactly. Here, no. check that out. Wow. Whoa. Hey, buddy. Hey, cutie. Ow! <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a nice one. I think that I'm going to gift this one to Eric. I think that Eric needs to take that home. What do you think? You want that? Mary would love this. Oh yeah. My gosh. Are you kidding me? Look at him. He's giving me kisses. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so listen, thank you. That this one is actually going to Eric and Mary. So there you guys go. Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, so there are actually a couple other Everglades rat snakes in here besides the ones we just opened up. Thank you, I love Everglades rat snakes. I've got some bison. Eric now has a new pet. Lori's happy because we're gonna keep the big female for breeding. You did not say that. Lori said that we can keep <laughs> the big female. But listen, this is the snake that everyone was excited about. I have no idea what it's gonna be. Again, I, I know the species, but I didn't know the size. I didn't know the temperament. And by the way, this is from Kara from Williamsport, Pennsylvania. So thank you, and the only thing that she said was that she wanted me to keep this animal and that it would have to keep its name and its name is Pickles. So here you guys go. Woo! That is what we got. Oh my gosh, take a look at that guys. Wow, that's a good one too, isn't that is it? Absolutely so stunning. Oh my gosh, wow. of course it's a green tree python. I don't know how this one's temperament is, but so far it looks pretty good. Look at you. Oh my gosh, is that thing cool? So we are keeping pickles, thank you. Love pickles. <laughs> so Jessica and I are gonna set up, I think we're gonna try to set up the biopod 
Would yeah. that be okay? Yeah. For right now, we'll keep her in a temporary cage for a few days. So there you guys have it. Our newest pet, Pickles. And I'm always asking you guys to name our pets, so you guys don't even have to name it. But I would like <laughs> you to go down in the comment and let me know what you think of our newest edition, Pickles. I have a ton of stuff to do today, and I'm just gonna take you along for what I have to do. The biggest thing on my list that I have to do is get my final things ready for the wedding this weekend. I know Brian said it, that our daughter's getting married, and I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. I am a bit of a procrastinator. And it's not because I don't want to get that stuff done, it's that I have so much stuff going on in my life that I just kind of fit it in where it can. It always gets done. I always 100% get it done, but sometimes it's at the last minute. Much to my daughter Jade's dismay. She's been on my butt like, Mom, oh my God, I can't believe you haven't hemmed your dress. I did it last night. Oh my God, you haven't got this. Well, I just finished my running around this morning and I got all of that stuff done. So I'm 100% ready for the wedding. First of all, packing. So I have my list right here of everything that I need to pack. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Then I have to go back and check of these things and around the other side of things that I said. Okay, so now that I have all the cups labeled for everything that's gonna go into cups, now I just have to go around and find them and put them in the appropriate size cups. So that is always fun, especially this time of year. We have so much stuff. I have a basic idea where most stuff is because I do set it up. But that being said, sometimes if I only have a couple of a certain animal, that can always be fun trying to find. So that's where I'm at now. Wish me luck. Okay then, I got all the colubrids packed. Now it's on to geckos, which they're a little bit easier. We have skews, like you can see right there, and that tells me which racks they're in and locators and stuff like that. So that is a lot easier than trying to randomly find these colubrids, so let's go pack some geckos. I think it's funny. You know, Brian always gets sad when we pack up stuff and sends it out, but I'm not gonna lie. I kind of like the fact that when I go and find a little guy, a snake or a lizard that I'm packing up, that I'm kind of excited that it gets to go to its new home. You know, most of the stuff we do are for pets and, and I think that's a pretty awesome life for these little guys to have. So that's what goes through my mind when I'm packing these is, I hope you enjoy your new family and your new home. <laughs> well, I just found this angry little guy. <laughs> Can you hear him? <laughs> he is screaming. He is not very happy. But you are going to be happy when you get to your new home. But he's really... <laughs> but this guy is really cool and really pretty. So that's... I wanted to show him to you really quick before he goes into his cup. This is a really pretty guy. And I just thought you guys would enjoy him. I just have one more ball python to pack and then I am ready to go for shipments. Then it's on to whatever's next on my list. Hey guys, so we are getting ready to start breeding our ball pythons here again within the next couple of weeks. And it seems like time has gone by pretty fast since hatching our last clutch from the previous season to being ready to start a brand new season. But I'm really excited about this season. I feel like there's a lot of potential to be had and I could go on for a while about all the pairings that I am really excited about, but I thought I might focus on a few key animals. I have really fallen in love with the Lori gene since I started working here. I think it's beautiful, and I think the gene has a lot of untapped potential, and I'm really excited about all the different things that we can do with it. I have a couple 2015 females that are up to breeding size this year, and I'm really excited to put them in rotation. Lori Leopard female. Look at her. This is hands down my favorite female in our collection. I love the leopard gene and I just think it goes really well with the Lori gene. She is 1500 grams of pure awesomeness and I think she's going to give us some beautiful babies. I can't wait to see what she makes. Another one of my 2015 females that I'm looking forward to breeding this year is Super Lori females. Now Super Lori's themselves aren't a new morph but not a whole lot has been done with the Lori project yet and I think it has a lot of potential. Because she's a super, all of her babies will have the Lori gene. There won't be any normal. So that leaves a lot of potential to pick a really cool male to breed to her and possibly get some world's first combo. Another gene that has really captured my interest is the mahogany gene. I have right here our mahogany breeder male 
and he is absolutely fantastic. He, he did a great job breeding for me last year. He produced some beautiful babies with a firefly female. And I recently saw online a mahogany cinnamon chocolate ball python, and I thought it was the coolest thing. So mahogany chocolates, mahogany cinnamons, maybe mahogany black pastels will definitely be in the works this season. I think this guy would pair really well with this particular female. This lady right here is one of our chocolate pinstripes. I think she's absolutely gorgeous. She has a nice, dark, rich color, and I think she would go really well with the mahogany. I think some mahogany pinch tries to be pretty cool, too. Something that's unique about this particular female is that she is a lot darker than our other chocolate pinstripes. You can see there's a big difference in color, so I don't know what's going on here, but this girl, there's something special about her, and I can't wait to breed it out and find out what's going on. If there's something else, or if she's just a really really unique chocolate pinstripe. I can't wait to see what she produces. Hey Mary, we got you a present. Right here. What is it? That's a present. That's a new snake that is a gift. Actually, the gift is from me to you guys, but it actually came from a loyal supporter of ours. So in actuality, it's to you. So open it up Gosh, and see your newest Take a pet. look I'm in scared. there. Reach on in there. Don't hesitate. Don't even look. Just reach it's in and good. grab it's it. Good. Don't look. Don't, no, you're just I'm cheating. What is it? Oh, grab it, pull it out. You know, is it mean? No! Is it gonna bite me? What a silly question. Yeah. It's not gonna bite you. I don't know. Don't let it never bite you. Look at how cute that yeah. is. Yeah. What is that? It's Everglades rat. Look, it'll give you little kisses. Look. Oh. You kiss, lied to kiss. me. Kiss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you quit pushing it on me. Yeah, you lied to me. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a beaut? Yeah, it's cute. Oh, it's really pretty. Gosh, yeah, super pretty. Little yeah. bit of a temper on them, <laughs> but that's okay. We love all snakes, <laughs> even the mean ones. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> tried to poop its head. Yeah. It, it hasn't even tried to bite yeah. Mary. What is going on? Oh. It, I picked it up. It bit me. It Eric me. picked it up. Bit, and it won't even bite. Oh, oh man. You both lied to me, though. Yeah. <laughs> we did not lie. We just kind of didn't tell the whole yeah, truth. Yeah, that's you know? all. It's that's that difference. All. So really nice it's thing. cool, though. So, yeah, so there you go. Your Thank gift. you, Brian. Enjoy it. Yes. Enjoy it. Thank you. All right, guys. So I am going to go ahead and end the vlog here. I hope that you guys enjoyed it today. Is it awesome that someone sent me all those cool snakes? That green tree python is crazy, and I promise I'm going to keep it for a long, long time. That's going to be one of my display animals. As a matter of fact, when I've talked about going next door and having kind of that display for parties, that would be a great display animal. Obviously, we won't be able to take it out and let kids handle it, but it'll be really cool because some of those animals over there, I want to be just cool displays so that is going to be a great addition and i love the name pickles and i hope that you guys all have an amazing day too because i think you guys are all very incredible support you show me means so much to me and i love you guys so much can you do me a couple favors please can you smash that like button as well as turn the post notifications on so you know when i upload a video which is every day seven days a week at nine o'clock in the morning eastern standard time remember to be kind to somebody and i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow Singing.